Welcome to the big, 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 big show. <laughs> and it's everybody's favorite psychologist today, Dr. Geraldine Tan from the Therapy Room. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And I've got a new webcam thanks to one of a be- one beautiful friend who dropped by yesterday to make sure that I get my webcam set up by today. Oh. So the color is different. Yeah. The, yeah. the space is different. Yes, so awesome. Thank you so much. You look even more beautiful. Today. Oh. <laughs> I must tell you what, when I always meet people when I dress down and on a weekend <laughs> <laughs> and then on Sunday, you know, hi Joel, you know, because he he was in mass and I cannot recognize anyone in mass. And he went, hi Doc. And I was in shorts and some scruffy tee. <laughs> 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 and I was like, huh? First, I, I'm not used to being called Doc. And then, you know, on the street because nobody greets their psychologist on the street. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then I go, huh? Huh? And then I just dashed off and then he sends me a DM like, hi, glad to meet you. And Ryan, oh my God, you mean that's you? <laughs> <laughs> it always guy... happens, right? When you're dressed <laughs> in, your, in your worst wear, you run into people. Yeah, yeah always. 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 Oh, yeah. oh. always. Is this guy from America or what? I mean, this, this guy who called you Doc. No, no, it's one of your your fans actually. Oh, Joel! Oh, wow. oh, I okay. hope I hope that he's watching now. Yeah, yeah, and you know, a thumbs up for him because he was volunteering at Willing Hearts. So big oh, thumbs nice. up! Yes, because you know it's such an American thing, right? It is. To, to call a doctor, doc. doc. Or... And I in Singapore, it's like, hi, doctor. <laughs> yeah, right. It's like the full yeah. word. Yeah, like when I was in the army, right? I remember there was this guy who came back from the states, mm. but he had to serve his NS. Mm. So we were in the same platoon, right? And then when we all fell in and uh, you know the sergeant was in front giving us some you know some instructions he went like uh, yes Sarge yes Sarge, Sarge. Oh. Yes, Sarge. Here, the guy said what what do you call me Sarge you come here and knock it down 20 you call me Sarge again oh dear I still don't know so, what's going on oh, so it, yes Sergeant yeah. <laughs> so here you have to use the full term yes, yes. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yes, cool. yep. extra, all of yep. But Jerry, yep. you're absolutely right. People will not acknowledge a psychologist <laughs> or a psychiatrist in public. Yeah. Yep. They won't. I yep. would. If you were my doctor, I would. <laughs> Don't Jerry? try too hard. <laughs> <laughs> She's already said no a hundred different times in a hundred different ways, Glenn. <laughs> okay, so today, Jerry, we're talking about yep. worrying, right? Especially yes. during, you know, this very uh, trying time. Yeah, so as the numbers escalate, so we, we were like, okay, the numbers are, are cool, it's really good. And then suddenly there's this cluster, you know, we were all very hopeful about the vaccination. And then suddenly up the numbers go and in no other place than the hospital itself and mm. we were always saying that the hospital is like the place that is disinfected all the time you know everyone takes precautions and then suddenly there is a case there and not only one case we start to see more cases so there was an explosion of anxiety over the weekend so that's why i thought i i told sean let's do you know anxiety um, mm. surrounding all these i've got to say jerry you're absolutely mm. right because when i picked up the papers on sunday morning the yep. first six pages were nothing but this and exactly. it was a very depressing sunday for me i could it not is. get it out of my mind I know, I know. I think it also hit very close to home for me because my parents, my mom immediately texted me on Saturday and say, you know, please pray for me because um, I was there on the day, you know, because she was there for a medical checkup. Uh, Daddy and I were there uh, on that day when oh. all these things oh, were oh, happening. Wow. Yes, yes. So they were one of those. So if you have read the papers today, long queues here. Yesterday, mm, mm. my parents were one of those that were queuing up yesterday oh, to, get to get the, the test. Wow. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. Big Wait. thanks to all the swabbers who have been working overnight, you mm. know, to to uh, help out with all the swabbing. 
Mm-hmm. Yep, parents are negative as of uh, this morning. Oh, Seven forty. Yes, yes, yes. Very nice. Very but, nice. But the anxiety was just crazy. It was just crazy. And then the worst thing you can do is to report a death. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh no. Yeah. So that sent everybody's anxiety just off the charts. All right. We are talking to mm. Dr. Geraldine Tan from the Therapy Room. We'll continue this discussion uh, live on our Facebook page. That's the Big Show TV. Meantime, here's Annie Lennox, one half of the Eurythmics with Walking on Broken Glass, only on the Big Show. One FM ninety one point three. Good times, greatest hits. So, Jerry, we're talking about this anxiety and you're talking about your parents. They went in, they got swabbed and they're negative. That's Mm. really not going to stop the anxiety because we've seen so many cases where someone gets tested negative and then Mm. five days later they're tested and it's positive. Mm. Were your parents told that they have to go for another test in the future or is it just this one test? Mm. They were not told. So I I think they probably would wait for more information. Mm. Um, And it is, I think, best to not guess mm. and just wait for more information. Mm. Mm. Yes, don't guess. Mm. But I think why this time it, uh, it sends such a huge buzz throughout the nation is because suddenly they are in places that we frequent. Mm. It's no longer just isolated in just far away spots from 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 everyone right yeah. you know you talk about TTSH where people go there and um, seek help you know medical help and then across the road you you hear of the the mall you know mm. having yeah. a footfall mm. because yeah so the mall uh, has been frequented Orchard Central which is just two doors away yeah. from me yeah you know it has also been frequented by the COVID patients yeah. so so suddenly everybody starts panicking it's like oh my gosh you know um, um yeah these are places that we frequent yeah. the community care facility no mm. angel and myself yeah. were just having a conversation this morning mm, right yeah. about mm. you know like going mm. out because yesterday she wanted to go out uh Not, I, yeah. I, I you yeah. know someplace yeah. and and in the afternoon i was at home and i said okay you know i need to go to this place to get something and then you know it suddenly occurred to me that these things are happening yeah. and I thought to myself, okay, I'm just going to stay home mm. as yeah. much as mm. possible unless I absolutely mm. need to, mm. to, to go get out. Something done, Other than yeah. that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come into contact with as few people yeah. as possible. Yeah. yeah, that was my thought as well. You know, I wanted to get something done, but I didn't necessarily need to get it done yesterday. Mm. So I told myself, mm. never mind, I can wait a little bit because yeah. it's not just TTSH and the malls. There are nine clusters in Singapore. Right, exactly. It's nine crazy. clusters. So if you don't have to go out, uh, just just stay at home. But I yeah. must I must give it to to the government as well. I mean, they shut all those places down mm-hmm. for two days, made sure everything was disinfected and yeah. cleaned up, despite it being a weekend. And then mm-hmm. they put into place a lot of different measures, and yeah. you know, and told everybody, you know, just calm down and and just do what you need to do. And that's why we need to help them out even more yeah. by um, <laughs> by using our our own common sense, yeah. right? <laughs> and, and not yeah. uh, uh, just just taking it as okay, they've disinfected the place. So, you know, everything goes on as per normal. You know, everyone has to take extra precautionary measures during this period. We have been doing so well, you know, so let's stick to it and and hopefully we can get back. I think, Jerry, Daniel has got a point on our Facebook page. It's also the waiting. The waiting is causing anxiety. Is this going to blow up even more? Is it going to come under control? When's it all going to level out? How do we deal with that waiting? Yeah, so the uncertainty of what is to come afterwards, right? Mm. Yeah, so if let's say, you know, you have to really have uh, something done, okay? So it's not like Angel who, yeah, I can wait, you know, but you do need to get something done. Please go and get it done, right? Mm. But be safe. Yeah. Because if you don't move and you're just there in one spot, you know, that spot is not going to change. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And if you can do that thing uh, alone, then do it alone. You don't need to take the whole family and the grandparents and the grandkids yeah. and the aunts and uncles out with you. Yeah. Do it on your own, get the thing done and then head home. 
<laughs> I think it's it's being cautious. Yeah. So I think over the last few months we have been more and more uh, lax. You know, because we are like, okay, I think it's okay now. You mm. know, let's venture a little bit more. And then when we venture a little bit more, I think we need to expect that the numbers will go up. But, you know, we still need to be cautious mm. so mm. that it, it doesn't have that big blow up again. Mm. May, yeah. I, may I suggest, Jerry, that you conduct your mm. sessions uh, just, just to be extra safe in a mm. hazmat suit? <laughs> 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 I have a few more. I have a few more, actually. I, I bought one for everyone. Only Angel yeah, yeah, doesn't yeah. have. Yeah, but for the okay. rest of us, we have. I've, you know? I've got to say, I, I, think, I, I, think, I think the kids will find it really novel. Yeah. <laughs> like, they would. They would, actually. So they would find it very novel. But I don't think the adults would, would appreciate, appreciate that. that. <laughs> the kids will think you're an astronaut. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You'd get one of those mm. big helmets as well. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. So, uh, and I cannot remember which uh, country you know because it was so rampant but they were going to do like therapy work and everything with the children they did wear the hazmat suits which oh. really did yeah the children really took to it very well <laughs> I'm, yeah. sure, I'm sure I'm yeah. sure Jerry we're speaking about worrying yes. so are there different types of worries Yes, of course. So I guess what makes us worry first right I think you know the yeah. the hopes that we had before so i think you know we were hoping that the vaccine can help us we were hoping that the travel can open up i know many people that wanted to travel during the june holidays mm. now i'm not so sure about that mm. i think when we pin our hopes all in one place you know that that leads us to um, that that space that it might be possible to crush it all in one blow. Mm. Yeah, so I'll be cautious with that. You know, and then you know the the uh, rules and regulations in terms of when something happens. Suddenly, you have the rules and regulations in, um, I think, the Lucky Plaza. The Luck, uh, Lucky mm. Plaza, they were doing the odd and even numbers again. Mm. You know, um, the measures are being ro uh, ro rolled out again for the last few days, right? So, when all these are happening, our anxiety starts to escalate. Yeah. You know, mm. we don't go into a panic but we, we start to worry even more because there's tension in the air, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. I think so, we'll talk about this point uh, when we go on air in just a while. Yeah. I think it's, yeah. a, it's yeah. a good point. It's a good point. Angel, you can ask about. her the question again. Okay. Yeah. All right. Ken. All right, stand by. Here we go. Point three, our special guest every Tuesday for Therapy Tuesday is Dr. Geraldine Tan from the Therapy Room. And today we're talking about uh, worrying uh, mm. because many people are... are, are you know, afraid that uh, we might experience a second wave here in Singapore mm, yeah. um, with how things are, are going, uh, especially since uh, I think it was Friday or Saturday. Mm. The numbers have been increasing. Mm. Uh, and so Jerry thought, OK, it'd be a good idea to talk about worrying because some people are <laughs> starting to feel quite anxious. Yeah. So mm. with the, so with, there have been like nine recent COVID clusters. Uh, it is a cause for worry. But you were talking about different types of worriers, uh, uh, Dr. Jerry. So can you tell us what they are? Okay, so it's types of worries, especially I think because um, of, of the recent, you know, weekend and everything. And when we get the message that, oh, there is a possibility that there is a COVID patient in, where you went to. So all of us have traced together, right? Mm -hmm. And you will get alerted. Then there's the first, so I've got five different types, huh? And the first one is the panic and call everybody. <laughs> yeah. That, yeah. Mr. So slash Mrs. Uh, panic Station. Yeah. Yeah. Does this include like uh, WhatsApp group chats, not? Yes, yeah, yes, yes. Because yeah, yes. my parents are notorious for that. Yeah. Anything you need, it will start, spread. Yeah. <laughs> and then they say, oh, did you get this or not? You were with me. And then they check with everybody and study panic, you know. So that's the panic and call everybody. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then there's the, the type that suddenly becomes catatonic. They just freeze. Hmm. And they are very resigned to fate. They suddenly go, oh, and they just freeze. <laughs> oh. They can't move. 
Okay. okay. Then you have the philosopher who starts <laughs> to tell you about life and how <laughs> life is like that, and of course it will happen. And you have to sit there and you have to hear about life. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> Next, <laughs> and then you have the the one that thinks of the worst. Very catastrophic, you know. Jumps to Dila, Dila. Haven't died,、mm. but still goes on the Dila, you know,、uh, sort of、uh, mantra. Okay. And the last one is the quiet buzz, the one that cannot talk. Very stoic, very stone-like. When he stare, seems to appear very calm. But it is just bubbling inside. You don't know when this person will explode. Okay, that's、so、very that's interesting. That's because, very interesting. Because you can't find yourself in there, right? Uh, are, are, are no, I, know, I, was, I was just going to ask all of you, <laughs> no, like, I, which ones are you? I don't know. I, 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 I'm not one of those. I think、not、I'm more like station, you are panic station. No, probably, no, 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 not all the time. Not all,、uh, certain things, lah. No, you see, so, so. I think when when、uh, COVID first came about, right, I was a little bit more worried. You know, we worked from home. I felt a bit depressed and all、yeah. that. But now, now we know what it is, and we've taken steps. We have、uh, you know traced together and stuff、yeah. like that. So I'm I'm quite cool about it.、Yeah. But I'm、anxiety. also very aware that I want to play my part, and so I know what to do. Stay home. I think you're a little bit of the philosopher. Really? Yeah, yeah. No, but like you this... have a reason for everything that happens, and you know you're like, I'm gonna stay at home, and、mm. I think everybody should, and this is the way it should be done, and stuff like that. But not so, not so naggy in that sense, you know. Because、mm, mm, mm. this is for worrying, right? When yeah, worrying. In a place of worry, like、yeah. right now, he's not really in a place of worry for himself. Yeah. Maybe worried for other people. Other people, but not so worried for himself. And you, are you? Do you fall、I'm、in worst, any worst worst case scenario? So you are the catastrophic worry. No, Mister、no. worst case scenario. Worst case. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, catastrophic. Yeah, that's the catastrophic one. Yeah, I cannot spell catastrophic. <laughs> it's a blur. Catastrophic. That's the one. Okay, and you? No, but I think I think for me, I I need to get on with my life.、Mm. If I、mm. don't get on with my life, I think I'm going to, I'm going to drop into not a depressive state, but a a, a very, a very unhappy state. But that's also quite dangerous, right? So you're the quiet. It is. You're the quiet boy. No, he's the he's the he wants to get on with his life,、I、so he to wants、it. to just do things. I, I, I need to get on. Normal. I need to do things as long as I know I am safe and I'm not.、Uh, I'm not going into like for now. I will not go into three one three or central places like that.、Uh, but I I need to get on with my life. But、If、you'll go to Choa Chu Kang Mall. I will. <laughs> but、I、there will. is no cluster. I will go there. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I will not. I will not stop. <laughs> but but I worry、uh, for for other people because,、mm. for example, yesterday I was I was at a hospital because my father my father in law is in hospital, and I saw these silly signs of how you're not supposed to wear your mask. Okay. And、oh. one of them was a, a sign with a picture of someone wearing the mask around the chin. Yeah.、Mm. So I actually asked the registration person. I said, "Why do you put up a silly picture like that? Nobody wears their masks like that." Uh, and they go. They no. do. Yeah. People come in and、yeah. say, "But I'm wearing my mask." Yeah, they、mm. do. They do wear it like that. Yeah,、It's、I、ridiculous. have seen people. Yeah, yeah. I've seen people with their nose showing as well. I'm like, but you know why these you... people have difficulty breathing with their masks on? Then、mm. they're wearing the wrong mask. No, no, no. Because there, some people they are they already have these problems. You see, especially、mm. the older people,、mm -hmm. they find it hard to breathe, and so that's the reason why they bring it down. They have、mm. no choice.、Mm. You know what I mean?、Mm. So、yeah. we need to think about these people no, as well. No, that is true. Yeah,、you、that、know? is true. There are people who have breathing difficulties, and these people are actually the most vulnerable because if、yeah. they do catch COVID, yeah,、mm. it is a respiratory yeah. illness. Yeah, you know.、Mm. Mm. Yeah. Okay. All、wow. right. Let's、uh, move on then. Yes. Let's get back to the music <laughs> and、uh, once again continue this conversation with the one and only Dr. Geraldine Tan on the Big Show TV. But Glenn, you're so right about the the masks, though. I mean, even、mm. as a normal breather, certain、yeah. masks、uh, really, really inhibit、yes. my breathing. Do they really? Yeah, I, I, I can walk found... upstairs and I literally am like my breathing becomes so heavy, I have to pull it down. Yeah, you know, depends on the、mm. the. It's the, the quality, thickness, the thickness. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The yeah. I, I I think a lot of people are wearing masks that are not actually designed. Yeah. For what they're wearing them for. For example, I'm not going to mention brands. Uh, there are brands out there、uh, that have masks 
that are actually designed as winter masks mm. to yes. keep you warm. Yes, right. I agree. And they're right. using them saying, oh, this will keep me safe. Yep. Yeah. It won't. It's just meant to keep you warm. That's all. Yeah. yeah. No, but, no, but I what, I, what I'm also saying is we have to be very careful before we, you know, we, 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 we say these things about these people because, um, you know, we always bump into one or two people, right? Maybe, th- uh, you know, for the rest of, of the week or, or usually mm. they wear their masks, Properly, properly. Mm. but maybe on this particular day you bump into them. They've got a blocked nose yeah, or something, no, a stuffy true. nose, true. and mm. so you catch them at at, at, that, at, wrong at that wrong moment. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? So I mean, FD, one day if your nose is blocked. And, and you're wearing a mask and you put it down, someone sees you and goes okay. like, hey, the other day no, you were but, talking okay. about this but on, on radio. But I have found the solution to that. What? what is it? When my nose is blocked, it's mm-hmm. very simple. I use something like Vicks or like uh, uh, an essential oil like uh, Breathe Again. Yeah. And I put it on the mask and it opens my airways. Because I'm breathing it while I have the mask on. Well, I, I can speak from experience because yesterday I was going through I don't know what here mm. in the studio and my whole si- my sinuses all sort of flared up and I was completely stuffed. And I did go out for lunch after and it was very difficult. Half the time I was right. trying to pull my mask down because yeah. I couldn't breathe, mm. you know. And I did have some of that breathe again, yeah. but for me yeah. it didn't work because it, it was work. just no. so bad. No, it yeah. works for me perfectly. So, that's so, yeah, so you're saying that if someone sees you outside, they will never ever see you with your, with your mask down? Below my nose, no, never. Okay, never. <laughs> he's a brave man. Never. I, I he's never. A, he's because, a brave because, man. Because, because that to me is the one thing that you have to do. You have to got to wear that yeah. mask properly. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, you might as well just not wear it. Yeah, mm. logic. Or is it because you can breathe because your nose is so big, so that yeah. there's a gap Okay, there. okay, okay. And, and so that's why no, you never and sometimes have a and <laughs> lest, lest, lest we forget, we have Dr. Jerry here oh, yes, who's yes, sitting, yes, who sitting in Orchard yes, Road, yes. waiting for you guys to stop talking. We're just entertaining Jerry <laughs> la, for a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Now it's all yeah. over to you, Jerry. She's like, thank goodness. Um, She's like, I speak for a living, so now I can actually listen to these people. <laughs> no, actually, Angel, you I listen. listen. That's right, you listen. So, so you're used to this then <laughs> yes and it's really fun it's really fun um but i agree with fd you know wear your mask properly but i do need to be the voice today for those suffering from anxiety disorder yeah okay because many of them will come in and say i feel claustrophobic with my mask mm. okay mm. um i can't breathe with my mask it obscures my breathing even though they're wearing the, the surgical mask that mm. actually should, you know, facilitate that. But they do feel, because when they go into a panic or they have one of those anxiety attacks, they cannot breathe. Oh, yeah, that's mm. right. Mm. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So if you do see someone struggling, please give them a white birth. You yeah. know, you don't have to approach them at all if you're afraid, but, you yeah. know, just permit them to 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 just take that moment yeah. You know, they're not trying to be funny with you. Yeah. Do people from cl- uh, who suffer from claustrophobia have an issue with wearing masks as well? Not all of them. It depends. Sometimes, uh, you know, it's it's they they can feel quite claustrophobic with that mask. Sometimes it's the material itself. Mm. You know, it can be anything. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Well, mm. Lucas. Sometimes there's sorry. The fire. No worries. There's the wire and they are very uncomfortable with that. So they need to Mm. buy something without the wire. Mm. Mm. Okay. Mm. Mm. Well, Luke has come on and said that with his mother, he has difficulties also because she had lung cancer and she's had a lung removed. Exactly. So she Mm -hmm. finds it really difficult breathing with the mask sometimes and she Mm. has to pull it down below her nose just to help her breathe. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So it is very tough. So this this mask issue can go on forever. But I think uh, bottom line is to make sure that everyone is safe. Right. right. Yeah, mm. it is. Okay, so um, you were talking about the different types of worry. Uh, what should we do if we are worried then? Okay, so again, five things. <laughs> One, Valium? How about popping some Valium? No. Dr- uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was going to say Sean. I was like, okay. no, no, Glenn, no, that's uh. it, right? Uh, every time it's him. No, all oh, your yes. doctors are, uh, are not going to give you Valium anymore. <laughs> anymore. <laughs> okay, five things to, to worry less. Yes, okay. 
So the first thing is sort. So five S's, right? First thing, sort your information. Please discern the type of information that you are reading. Where is your source? Mm. Do not go for fake news. Mm. You know, look for a reliable um, source of information. That's one. Two, social. Reach out to friends. Reach out to family. If you're very worried, you know, just have someone beside you to journey with you. Yeah. Um, sports. You know, going for a walk, um, just something very gentle. Um, you might not want something as exciting like uh, what Sean does, <laughs> the spin pass. That, that's also an S. <laughs> spin. That, I know, I know, but that is so exciting, right? I've heard like there is disco music, there are lights and, you know, and, and I don't know what else. But anyways, <laughs> 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 but that, that might rev up too much excitement in the body so something very gentle so sports and then the spiritual side spiritual side again in psychology is not just about religion it's about you know all that creative self expression uh creative arts also you know if uh the religion is something that you go to yes please meditate please pray yeah so that comforts you and the last one is take a deep breath and smile. Hmm. Provided you can breathe. Hey. <laughs> Glenn, no, I Glenn, no, Why are you gonna, always, always like this. Always, always going like to come this. in and like crap, <laughs> make everything come crashing down. Does okay. he do that all the time? Yeah, all the time. All the time. But that's his job. That's his job. You can repeat <laughs> and recap that uh, as we go back on AFD standby one traffic. Or so, yes, uh, I will. Angel can ask again. Can. Good morning and welcome to The Big Show and TheBigShow.tv. We have Dr. Geraldine Tan from The Therapy Room and we're talking about uh, worrying less this morning. Yes. yes, yeah. Yes. yes. And, and uh, when I hear uh, FD do the traffic, I worry less on the road. Oh, oh, yeah. Nice one. Nice thank one. you. <laughs> Un unlike our Minister Ong Yee Kang, who felt like a little stressed <laughs> out <laughs> when FD did the traffic. <laughs> so, Dr. Jerry, today we're talking yes. about uh, what happens when worries escalate. And you were talking about because of the recent COVID uh, clusters that have been reported, uh, everybody's starting to begin to worry a little bit more. But I just have to add this one thing that it's not just here. Uh, I have f good friends in Singapore who have a lot of family around the world as well, particularly in India. Uh, just yes. got a just got a message from a very close friend who was talking about how his father just got tested and he's okay, waiting for the rest of the family results. And I can't imagine that people who are away from their family members as well, yeah. who, who can't get to them, how much they must be worrying as well. So, Dr. Jerry, can you take us through what you mentioned? on our thebigshow.tv earlier about how we can lessen our worries through your five different steps. The first thing, the five S's, right? The first thing is sort your information. Find a reliable source of information and obtain, you know, it from, not from fake news, from somewhere that you can rely on. Mm. The second one is social reach out to your friends your family members to journey with you you are not alone so sometimes when you worry you tend to isolate yourself the third one is sports so go for a walk something very gentle you know cycling a gentle swim nothing too strenuous although it's an s also <laughs> 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 and then uh, spiritual, so the creative arts, you know, um, pray, pray, uh, meditate. And then the last one is smile. Just take a deep breath and smile. Mm. Can I add one more? Yeah. Sure. A double one. shot of gin with soda. Yeah, that sometimes helps. But alcohol is not a good oh. thing to turn to when you're worrying. So, no, we don't, won't count that in. No. <laughs> Jerry, what about the people who say, as Alun says on our, our Facebook page, I won't say it's good to worry, but worrying helps some people like me make plans, search for solutions, and be more prepared for the things I worry about. Mm. Mm, mm. So when uh, worry is good, so s there's good stress and bad stress, right? So if you use it, it becomes productive. Mm. But if you just go, you know, back and forth with it on, on the spot, then you go nowhere. Mm. 
Mm. Yeah, mm. that is true. So what do we do? Uh, because there is so much going on in Singapore right now, what do we do if one of us gets pinged? <laughs> <laughs> yes. So it's it's been quite, um, I don't know, rampant with the people around me. So they, they seem, we all have trace together and we mm. get we, when we check in you know they would know whether and remember to check out yeah, okay yes. if you forget to check out then you know there are higher chances that you get pinged at the wrong time mm-hmm. yeah because you didn't check out right yeah. so they recognize that you are there at that particular time also so they would tell you right um uh, where is it found? The location, where, uh, how many cases are there, and there's a possibility in the timing. Okay, and they would um, uh, remind you, or they would offer you a swap test, a free swap test. Okay. okay? Yep. Yeah. So the first thing you do is do not panic. It's it's a notification and you just follow instructions. Singaporeans are infamous for that, so we continue to follow instructions. Mm. Uh, the red card means I have to cut. Yes, <laughs> that's correct, because we're going to play you a track right now from Take That. This is Back for Good on The Big Show. We are also on TheBigShow.tv. Okay, yeah, you can continue from there. Mm. Mm. And... Yep. So, yeah, don't panic, right? And you schedule your swap test. You just need to schedule your swap test and find out if there are different locations that you can obtain your swap test. Mm. Don't just go to one place. Mm. Because I think uh, what happened was that there was one place that was the primary um, swap station and everybody went there but actually right. there are other stations or other clinics that provide you know free swap tests mm, right mm. have yeah. any of us yeah. been for a swap test no no, no right no. no i've started practicing already but just in case so, so what you've do you been do? putting a, you take a cotton, butt, cotton butt. i knew it he puts a q-tip on his nose <laughs> cotton butt it's like okay what's the feeling here okay uh okay quite close i think this is what i'm gonna feel like if i have to go for a swap test so at yeah. least i'm prepared i always need to be prepared that's true yeah. So Glenn is the number sixth warrior. He is the prepared warrior. <laughs> the overprepared warrior. The overprepared warrior. <laughs> At first, I'm gonna put a ballpoint pen up my nose, oh, but oh, 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 oh. better not. You know, I think. No, no, no. Ew. Children listening to yeah, this. Yeah, children do listening, not, Glenn. Don't, don't do listen. Not, yes. Do don't not listen. listen. Basically, if you're a child, do not listen to anything, Glenn. Says. <laughs> this <laughs> is a warning for some adults as well. Yes. <laughs> if not, you kids will be going like. What is this? No, Gin. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy, yeah. double shot soda. Yeah, and I think, and I think after your swap, right? It will be um twenty four hours before you can obtain a test uh, results. Yes, results. So oh, right, that okay. that waiting. So mm. waiting. I think for many of people who are pinged, they're waiting to get the swap test done, and then after that, you know, after the test. The wait to get the results. Mm. Those were painful moments that uh, uh, there was so much uncertainty. Because once they are at that swap test, you know, station, they are able to ask questions. They are able to, you know, allay some of their fears. But then when they're out of that station or out of the space with all the medical personnel, they've got no one to turn to. You know, Mm. so, but there are plenty of websites out there. There's a hotline out there. You know, go, if you're very worried, please call these hotline numbers. It's the worst thing in the world to worry. It is. You know, and there have been people who have been worrying nonstop since the pandemic hit us. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and that must be such a torture. I mean, if it's possible, don't worry about things that you can't change. That's Correct. what I always Correct. say. Things you know, you don't have control over. Things that you don't have control over, just yeah. don't worry. Just do your best. Stay safe. You know, mm. stay stay yeah. vigilant. But some people just yeah. worry. You know, you know what I mean? Huh? Yeah. Some you people know. just yeah. worry. They can't help themselves. I, you yeah, you look like a warrior, Mark. No, it's, worried? it's easy to say don't worry about things mm. you can't change. Yeah. But mm. we're human. We're, it, it's it's going to strike us, you know. Uh, we, we're going to worry about things that you can't change. We, yeah. Man is like that. Mm-hmm. And some people more than others. More than yes, others. So that's yes. why, you know, I think for people who, um, 
you know, who are starting to, uh, you know, to feel like symptoms in their bodies oh, as yeah. a result of over worrying. Yeah. yeah, I think they need to to get help. They need to seek treatment, right, Jerry? Any advice well, for these people? Are you prompting to come to me again? Uh, <laughs> Do I look like I'm in bad shape? She doesn't right? know no, when no, no, to no. take you seriously. No, no, no but I, I'm, I'm really talking about the people who are. Uh, um, worried, worried, yeah. and 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 who are worrying on a daily basis, and who are feeling so, so much pain, you know. Okay, so the big big thing is be present, you know, instead of looking at all the uncertain parts. So if you're feeling uncomfortable, look at your symptoms, you know, uh, visit the doctor, you know, uh, visit a normal GP first. The normal GP will be able to distinguish whether these are COVID symptoms or whether these are not COVID symptoms. And then um, if you've been there long enough, they will tai chi you to a psychologist. <laughs> tai chi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they would say, oh, I think it's more, you know, uh, psychological. Please go and see a psychologist. So they would be able to pick it up anyways. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Mm. But I will tell you, Jerry, there is a whole group of people. There are a whole group of people listening to us right now who have elderly parents. And here is their worry. Their parents have diabetes. Their parents have heart problems. Their parents need regular checkups at hospitals. And we're scared to death of sending them to the hospital mm. to see the clinic. Mm. Okay, talk to my parents. <laughs> yeah, you know, but they, they are they worry. They worry. They're going to sit they're going to sit in a hospital somewhere and they're going to be there for two and a half hours and that is just exposure. Scary yeah, exposure. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Mm. Mm. And I know so, I'm in I'm in that situation. So, yeah. yeah. Morning, Julian. Hi, morning. <laughs> Hi, morning. <laughs> morning, guys. Morning, morning. We're mm, talking about old is... people and how stubborn some old people can be <laughs> because they don't want to go for their vaccination. You no, know, we just saw, that's not the topic. You know, actually, we just saw uh, the stats the other day. Only 60% oh, of yeah. uh, the oldies but goodies have gone for uh, their vaccination. Yeah. And that's very low, very actually. Low. You know? Very, very low. Right, right, right. Yeah, and they are the ones who are spreading fake news all. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Yes, yes, it is true. Yeah. Yeah, you know, so they are scared. They're, they're more scared. vulnerable yeah. to information. Yeah. So if you're an oldie but goodie and you're tuned in right now, go for your vaccination, please. <laughs> Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, okay. Dr. Jerry, Dr. Jerry. Uh, any last Angel words? digressed there for a while. Hey, yeah. hello. What? Was it me? Or it was, was you. Serious, it was sorry. you. So anytime you ask that question, it's always you, okay? Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Got so it. Dr. Jerry, any last words? <laughs> I mean, okay, for the for the old people first, for the seniors first, right? You know, make that appointment. I think the hospitals and many of the um, GP clinics or any of the clinics, you will, are required to make an appointment. So don't go there and stay for hours on end make that appointment and then go there at your designated time so don't don't think you know the old mindset that if i go early i can see the doctor mm. early mm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. um, yeah and 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 as we were speaking about worry um yep yeah, worry is like a rocking chair it gives you something to do but it gets you nowhere mm. so I wanted to just leave everyone with that oh i like that that's very good actually that's very i hate good, rocking Jerry. chairs I love rocking chairs. <laughs> I hate yeah, rocking chairs. Yeah, because it gets you nowhere. Chairs. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> rocking What's chairs. The point? Are, rocking chairs. And then the if you thing. have a pet, poor thing, you know, you 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 rock you rock on the guy's paw or oh, oh. tail or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, <laughs> yeah. that is true. You know what yeah. I mean? Get a massage chair. <laughs> yeah, you'll kill your pet. You know. Oh dear. Oh, speaking no. of killing pets and animals and all that, that's where we have Julian. That is. <laughs> yeah. Today, oh, nice. We'll be, we'll be talking about I, that. I, I like how you yeah. what you did there. Okay. You know, right. Yeah, yeah, it's mine. Oh, your ten seconds are going back on. Do you see why? Just yeah, this, yeah, yeah. this mind. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Well done, well done. Very smooth. Okay, stand by. <laughs> okay, Jerry. See ya. Okay, bye bye.